guys, today we're making the uh, Moroccan spice known as uh, Shermoula. Uh, Shermoula is filled with uh, cumin, ginger, parsley, cilantro, lemon zest, and um, just to name a few. You know, I, I like to use it for chicken, lamb, uh, a lot of vegetables, um, seafood also, and uh, my favorite is fish. So it, it, it's versatile for anyone, even if you're vegetarian or vegan, it uh, works for you just as well. So. In the next few steps, I'll show you how to really put the spice blend together. Uh, I'm going to show you how to make a, a Charmula spice blend. First things first, we're going to add uh, about two tablespoons of paprika, one tablespoon of cilantro, one tablespoon of dried parsley. I've got one and a half teaspoons of uh, cumin, one tablespoon of uh, dried lemon zest, one and a half teaspoons of uh, ginger. Also have one tablespoon of uh, granulated garlic. We have a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, half a teaspoon of um, black pepper, I'm sorry, then one tablespoon of uh, salt. Just gonna mix this in. Now you can leave it like this or sometime I'll just add it to a um, spice blend if I want to find find a powder. Um, it, it gives you, this this particular spice blend gives you uh, sweetness, earthiness, um, I love the spiciness from the ginger, I love the spiciness from the uh, cumin and also a nice uh, heat from the cayenne and the black pepper. So this is one of my go-to spice blends for when I'm cooking Moroccan uh, cuisine. We're just gonna mix this well till everything is fully incorporated. Now this uh, particular recipe will give you at least a half a cup to two thirds cups of uh, spice blend and you can store it in an uh, airtight container for at least um, at least a year so it, it should uh, really hold up nicely for a year and be able to use but you know as, as you cook more I, I suspect that this uh, a year won't be needed so you'll really run through this um, this amount so definitely enjoy the spice blend now if you want a finer powder uh, what we have here is a uh, spice grinder or a coffee grinder that can be purchased at stores like Walmart or uh, Target um, so you can pick it up for at least uh, 20, 20, 30 bucks. Um, I, I love to use this uh, blend for things such as uh, lamb, chicken, fish, or seafood. It also works well with vegetables. So if you're vegetarian or you're vegan, uh, it, it gives your dishes a nice touch also. So we're just going to pour this right in the uh, spice blender. Real super simple. Just put the cap on and just pulse it a couple of times or until you see it, uh, it really forms a powder. There we go. So basically, it's a little finer. And it's, it's uh, more controllable, which I like. So this is uh, a good way to uh, blend your spices also with a spice grinder.